what you're about to see is real. All video and audio was captured at an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. On this episode of Local Haunts, the team heads to Kingsland, Georgia to investigate the City Hall building. What was once a hotel now serves as the administrative offices of City Hall. But does the past and present merge in this historic building? Find out as we explore Local Haunts. Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual is my co-host, spiritual medium Pamela Teresa, along with Julie and Dax Slade, and Catherine Lott, and on cameras, Joe Talentino and Savannah Huffingham. Also joining us is Royal Weaver, a local historian and familiar face on local haunts, as he was our guide on previous investigations at St. Mary's Orange Hall and the Submarine Museum. And hosting us on this investigation is Trish Jarrett, who works for the city of Kingsland. Local haunts was contacted to investigate the Kingsland train depot. It now serves as a museum and has been relocated from its original location to where it now sits in the heart of Kingsland. As we were investigating the depot, it became pretty evident that there simply wasn't much in the way of paranormal activity. We find that in places where they're repeatedly um, investigated, they've had two other investigations, so it makes like, it, it's like Romella, as opposed to, like you say, Casa Marina, or like the sort of theater. Um, it just really kind of dilutes the energies uh, as far as gathering evidence. So places that are constantly investigated, it's just, it's not gonna, so that's one thing to keep in mind here. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's not a true haunt, in other words. And Pamela informed us that the train depot wasn't haunted. Like any other building, earthbound spirits, or what we call ghosts, do occasionally inhabit the building, but they don't stay for long and don't take up residence. She keeps the place really clean and clear, um, actually, Trish does, mm -hmm. not even knowing it. But um, her personality and how she's very organized, we're talking about you, Trish? I hear you. <laughs> uh, how she's really organized actually affects the energies of the space, and that's why it's really clean and clear. So this space really is. Um, what you're picking up on in Earthbound Spirits are just people like coming through naturally as they would come in in Walmart and such like that. So there's really not, not anybody attached to the space. And I think that's actually uh, in great part due to you. Um, so your organization and such like that and the energy that you carry around you keeps things and the energy lighter. It's a very light space. So that's why the activity is more outside, like at the picnic tables. That's where we'll probably get more photo captures. Okay. Um, but I mean, every place is going to have uh, earthbound activity, but it's just like, like I said, wherever you go, there's going to be a few go follow you around. But anytime, if you have a psychic come in here and do a read on the place, they're going to pick up, be like, They'll be able to touch something and pick up and psychically read what happened and such like that. But I'm definitely not hearing anybody here talking to me about longevity. That's what it is. Okay. It just is what it is. We, we can't make it up. It just is what it is. <laughs> okay, bleep. Sorry. <laughs> we can't make bleep up, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Then our guide, Trish Jarrett, who works at the train depot, told us about the city hall building, which was only a block or two away. And immediately, Pamela got a hit that that is where we needed to be. So we relocated down the street to what used to be the Camden Hotel. Built in the 1920s, the historic building now serves as city hall. And unlike the train depot, is ripe with paranormal activity and is truly haunted by spirits of the past as Pamela could feel their presence even before we entered the building. And, and he got hit by the car. Coming up on Local Haunts. Let's survive this. An expected guest speaks up through Pamela. So where are we at right now? 
We're in uh, Kingsland City Hall, 107 South Lee Street in downtown Kingsland. And this is the uh, former Camden Tourist Hotel. Uh, that was what it was built to be, and it served as a hotel for many years, and then um, it was abandoned and sat vacant and dilapidated for uh, quite a while. And then the city purchased the property and rehabbed it, and it has been a city hall. Um, since then. When was it built as a hotel, do you know? Oh my gosh. Bob uh, Chris. <laughs> well, you know? Uh, no, I don't. <coughs> no, I, I'm sorry, I don't know the year. Okay. But. Yeah. And it was, when it was it open as City Hall? Probably, we were talking about that earlier. I think it's probably about 20 years, 20, maybe 25 years it's been City Hall. Okay. So these are all these offices that were, were rooms once? They were. They were all um, uh, hotel rooms and um, most of them have fireplaces in them, and you know, there's not every room doesn't have its own bathroom like you do today in a hotel. It was, I guess, you know, you had to share back then. Um, so, nice. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have some people who've been here for a while. This this would be um, like the Costa Marina, as okay. a matter of fact. Oh, very nice. So yeah, we definitely do. Okay. This is so your instincts are correct. I figured you'd find uh, something here. Yeah. As far as you knew, this place just creeped you out for a good reason. It did creep me out, especially when I was here on the weekend by myself. And This is a local haunt. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. There's got a different energy here than it did at the tour. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, there's a lot of history here. Yes, uh, there definitely is. I know of at least one murder that um, our chief of police told us about. Um, that well, lady of the evening. Can uh, I to say that? Do you want me to stop? I'm just wondering that who who got choked down there. That, that's that that's the know. first thing I picked up was okay. just literally with um, choked to death by the ladies' room. Uh huh. By down in that hall by the ladies' room. Um, and that's not my. It was a oh. female who was choked, definitely by a male, hmm. uh, and he just. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that could be. Um, um, you know, a separate incident, or it could be the incident we're talking about, okay. because the, the lady was then, well, she was murdered, and then she was put in um, a fireplace in the uh -huh. office at that end of that hall. So oh, I, heard I don't know her, where she was. Well, her cause of death, uh, who I connected to in the bathroom. And she's also, uh, we'll not be able to pick up some ABPs on that, because um, she followed us up here. But, uh, the, what, the prostitute? The female that I'm with, I don't know. The one who was strangled downstairs. Right, the one okay. was strangled downstairs. Yeah, she was strangled. Mm -hmm. uh, She's up here with her friend? Mm hmm Yeah. So. Just then, the female earthbound spirit that Pamela was talking about spoke up and gave us her name. Here it is again, filtered and amplified. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Did she tell us what year that was? But she was telling me something else. Now she's went off like to Phil. I'm wondering if this case was ever even known about. Not like to Phil. I'm wondering. Not like to Phil. I'm wondering. Not like to Phil. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this case was ever even known about. Like the floor. Oh, oh! She was telling me about bugged her, and uh, this is kind of so. Whoever used the bathroom before, that's how I kind of ran into her. We didn't flush the toilet. She's like, would you please flush that toilet? I've been trying to flush this toilet. It's just, it's just nasty. And I'm like, because I was going to, I didn't want to touch it and go near it. I'm like, ew. And I went to the other side. And she's like, please flush that. Oh. <laughs> so I like her. Uh -huh. So she was trying to flush it but couldn't? Right. Mm, that's going to be frustrating. Yeah, it was. And um, so that's how I met with her. And then I started linking to her. And that's um, also, too, I, I have a gunshot room right here. Like, mm -hmm. right above the right eye, mm -hmm. right here, a cause of death. Um, and uh, this guy is probably about five foot six, and he has dark hair, and he's really thin. Um, so it was like, bam, real quick. Witness was that hotel? Uh, we don't know. I'm just getting, I'm just thinking to cause of death right now. So uh, they're quite, they're like, wow, why are there people in here? This is okay, this is weird. So it's quite a shock because it wasn't planned, and that's what's so cool about this. Um, so those who were over there at the um, train depot, mm -hmm. they knew that somebody was going to be coming in. Those who were sitting out by that, people kind of been in and out. Mm -hmm. This is a big shocker, so this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. They're they're really um, observing us and, and seeing. Uh, we have visitors in here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 
bun and dark shirts. <laughs> <laughs> and he got hit by the car. Coming up on Local Hearts. But survived it. An expected guest speaks up through Pamela. Um, Talk to your mom about the tree that uh, just 
kid, see the kids leave something from around it. It's just it constantly, it was just like a nightmare to keep. So anyway, that's another thing for her. I think Spirit's just trying to get messages through her. And most likely when they're trying to get messages like this, there's something going on in her life where she needs to have that validation that the continuity of life. Does that make sense for what's going on in her life? She might validate. So maybe what they're trying to do is if they have a conversation with her about this, so that way she can feel better. So, because um, you're kind of like her, uh, I don't know if you know this about, this is what they're telling me, that you, she feels, she, she feels very comfortable. And this also in her Yeah. She, well, we have a lot of activity going on right now. If you, you love your granddaughter, obviously, but can you make it light up for her to tell you you love her? Coming up on Local Odds, amazing validations from the other side. While Trisha's grandmother was communicating through Pamela, Royal alerted us that his K2 meter had been going off during the spiritual read. At the same time, I saw an apparition move down the hall behind Trish. The whole time you were talking, uh -huh. I was getting hits, and I just kind of watched it for a while. Uh -huh. And then just recently, then it started to get more active. Okay, now. cool. So that was what I was trying to get your attention with. Is, is the whole it just means we have activity of spirit. Uh, is that you that called my name? Huh? No, I, yeah, I did. That's okay, so when you said attention. that, that's when I saw. Uh -huh. and I was trying to get you to look at the fact that we're getting uh -huh. light. So, yeah. I saw a head move. Like, like right. there was somebody standing. I don't know if you want to hold it. Just so like no, right yeah, here, that's great. And they kind of backed off like that. Hmm. Yeah, because yeah, no, the whole time you were talking with her, different ones, and they uh -huh. were popping in. When you mentioned uh -huh. a different one, then, then the K2 right would come. It would come in again. That's really with cool. The, all the different ones, and it's kind of watching it for a while, and then it started to go up a little bit more. So do you have that on film? Uh, yeah. is, okay. is your grandmother's there. She's oh yeah, she's around her. Yeah. Okay, can we have her do it now? Come on, just do it. Just take, take, yeah. Could you please make this call off now? What's your grandmother's name? Amanda. Amanda. Can you make this call off again, Amanda? As we were trying to get Trisha's grandmother to light up the K2 meter, we caught this orb fly in front of the K2. Was this her grandmother? I'm sorry, my, that was my mom's grandma. Um, my grandma that got hit by the truck, her name was Lily. Well, Lily. Okay, there we go, Lillian. Yeah, one little bit. Okay, go closer to it. You can link to me to do that. You can use my energy. I'm fine with that. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Um, okay, do it again to say I love you. Look at me, I'm getting all in it now. I hate these little machiney things. <laughs> no, I don't. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> They're our friend. They're our friend. Thanks for coming through, Lily. If you, you love your granddaughter, obviously, but can you make it light up for her to tell you you love her? You can link to me to do that. There we go. That's, that's all the, okay, there oh, we go. Okay. Good job. Okay. She really loves okay. you. Yeah, I, I let her just really take a hold of my energy. This was a first. Never before has Local Haunts had a transitioned, heavenly soul set off our K2 meters. It was amazing validation for Trish that her grandmother was okay and that she loves her. <laughs> okay, so now we know that we can actually. Um, That's these. very cool. This is transition. So now this is you. Thank you. We we got what we needed. We're Great. complete. Yep. This is why we came here. Awesome. Oh my God! This is <laughs> Thank you.